upgrade, though, aren't you? It's a relief to finally have an answer. So this is the underground harbor. Rebellion. Rebellion. So Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Professor Weasley asked me to, uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. Quiz? Some people call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun, focusing mainly on the law of the wizarding world. None of the other students will try it, no matter how many times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Ah, oh, they don't value knowledge the way I do. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. If that's the only way I can convince you to give me that book, then let's get it over with. Splendid! Just a few questions, and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the Golden Snitch, which magical creature was used in a game of Quidditch? The Golden Snidget. Correct! The Snidget was first introduced to Quidditch in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? The 
pepper up potion. I'm afraid the answer was Felix Felicis. Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Horcruxes? No, the answer was the Deathly Hallows. According to Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? The Bludger. I'm sorry, but the correct answer was the Quaffle. When a chaser throws the quaffle through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false, Polyjuice Potion allows the drinker to change species. True. Actually, the answer was false. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. Well, I suppose this has gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. I I'm sorry. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put the book back on the pedestal for you. Revelio ought to make me work at this. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Reading can be as magical as any spell. Why can't you do Revelio! Better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gulpstones. I heard Professor Weasley transfigured the book with all her test answers into an owl to stop students from cheating. Taking owls a bit too literally, if you ask me. Beautiful. Settle down, settle down. Transfiguration, as you may be weary of hearing me say, is an exact science that can take a lifetime to master. But we needn't be daunted. Almost anything can be transformed if you can just perceive the potential within it. As I see in all of you, tremendous witches and wizards, every one of you, or it could just be my eyesight. Now, you all know what to do. Beautifully done. <laughs> Class is dismissed. And remember, now is not the time to ease off your studying. OWL. Here before you know it. 
You wanted to discuss my progress so far this term, Professor. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. And frankly, excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspected they would be. Now, it seems you've been making good use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. I've heard that you can brew an impressive Edurus potion. Hopefully, you won't need it anytime soon, but it is a valuable potion to have when it is needed. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've accomplished in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your visit to the kitchens and the Hogsmeade graveyard with Nick to bribe a ghost for information connected in any way to Professor Fig? Professor Fig has encouraged me to explore when I can, in, uh, an effort to complete my field guide. I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. I'll provide a final assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. If you wish to practice the spell you just learned, the training dummy is available. Glad to see you are paying close attention to my demonstration of the transformation spell. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Bit Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the help of Sam, and I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts.